What is up guys, welcome back to the channel today. I'm gonna to be reviewing my Polaroid SLR 680. I got back from Retrospect, which they do like camera repairs and stuff, and I got this camera off of eBay. Dirt cheap, story time for another day. Um, and it didn't work when I first got it. Uh, the, there's something wrong with the door or something. It didn't like, uh, it didn't hit the switch. I don't know, long story. But uh, I send it back, got it back in, works perfect looks perfect smells perfect i know smell is a little weird one in there but whatever but uh you're gonna see that i filmed this with my shirt wise but i filmed part of it a while ago and i never ended up uploading it because i really wasn't happy with it but uh, i'm gonna try to change a couple clips and then post this bad boy up because i really wanted to post a review about the camera and tell you guys what i think about it and uh yeah so let's get right into the video So I got you guys on the GoPro now, so we're just gonna hop right into doing this unboxing here. So straight off the bat, absolutely love the packaging. It is, looks so nice. It tells you a little blurb about it on the back. Uh, retrospect on the side, the top here. Polaroid SLR 680 vintage refurbished on the bottom. All that good stuff. Love, love, love the packaging. Can't stress that enough. All right, so this slides off. Get a little get a logo, and then you flip it up. And usually, if you get a refurbished, let me grab it over here. I already did open this and play around with it a little bit, but usually your work order would be right here. So it tells you what they fixed, or repaired, or inspected and cleaned. So this usually comes with it. And then you pull the holy grail out here, and it is just absolutely, it is absolutely beautiful. So they replaced the leather because there are screws that you have to take from under, under here to uh, get in the inside, get in the guts of it, but um, it is just absolutely beautiful looks like new smells like new oh my god it smells like macy's if you guys remember macy's before they went out of business so yeah this the s the spur the 680 has the sonar autofocus with the tilt flash i didn't even know what it tilted when i first got this i'm like it was like i thought it was broken because it moved but pff, freaking tilts so i do have a pack of film in there right now because i already shot around with it for a little bit but so this is this is most of it. This works absolutely perfect. Sonar works good. And then and also in the package, you get a sticker. And also you get these stickers too. Which uh eh, the more stickers the better, am I right? And then you get a little guide just in case you know this is your first camera or you had it somewhere and I don't know. You had it in storage or something like that, you know you don't know what to do with it. So this gives you the whole breakdown of how to open it, how to put film in it, and all that good, all that good jazz. You know, a little bit of literature never hurts anybody. The box is a decoration piece itself. I mean, can't stress the presentation is absolutely phenomenal. Box opens a little magnets. I know that's not what I bought here, but gotta love the box. But yeah, did an amazing job looks brand new and yeah so i'm gonna um i'm gonna go take a couple pictures and come back with the results and i'll tell you guys what i think about it yeah neat little uh neat little package right here
my concluding thoughts on this camera. What do I think about it? Is it going to be the new daily driver? No, it is not going to be my new daily driver. And I'll tell you that. I'll tell you why. First, results time. Uh, I took these a little bit ago. This one's overexposed. But if we flip through, I noticed that, that one was overexposed. Waited for it to develop while I was there. Got a pretty good one here. Let me flip the screen around. So this one's absolutely beautiful. Got the uh, got the right exposure and all that. But um, here's another the rock one. It's pretty dope on a mountain. Not gonna lie. Uh, I think it's a nice camera. I think it takes beautiful pictures. I think they're nice and sharp, nice and uh, vibrant. But it is not gonna replace my daily driver, which is the Impulse AF. This thing is just too robust to not have in my bag. I don't gotta worry about breaking it because they're like forty bucks on eBay. Um, it takes pretty dang sharp pictures, pretty close to that. I mean, put them side to side, you probably won't see a difference. Plus, uh, price of the 680s, pretty high, around a couple hundred bucks. Um, rarity of them, they're like a freaking, like an art piece. You know, you don't see these around. Um, and I, when I throw it in my bag if I'm going hiking, you know, I, I'll feel bad if I drop the Impulse AF, but not as bad as if I drop the 680. You know, there's a lot of big price difference, and plus I waited a couple weeks to get it refurbished from Retrospect, so it's got a little bit of sentimental uh, value to me, plus how I got it, the whole story about how I got it so cheap. Story time for another video, hopefully coming out soon. You guys be, put the, hit the little subscribe button, put the little bell on, you know how it is. But uh, yeah. Do I think it's a good camera? Yes. Uh, would I recommend you get it? I mean, if you get one for the right price, working, yeah. But don't like, I mean, it's 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 the end game. Like, we're in the end game now. Like, that is definitely the end game of cameras. And I'm glad I have it, but I'll shoot a couple packs on it. But it's not going to be in my bag. It's not. I'll keep the Impulse AF because of how robust it is. You know, it's nice and rugged if I drop it. But like I said, I already said and plus it takes pretty sharp pictures, like, like I said. So, I want to thank you guys for watching. Hopefully this video is helpful. Uh, I might go into a deeper dive into, like, the logistics of it all, like, price and all that. But, um, that's going to be it. Sorry about the, uh, the weird clippage with, uh, the clips from, like, a couple weeks ago. And then now, I want to make sure I got all my thoughts out and into the video for you guys so it wasn't like the other one felt kind of weird the way i said everything so hopefully this one's a little bit better thank you guys for watching catch you guys next time peace